when the weather outside is frightful. Better make you some boot socks. <laughs> These ain't meant to be tight. These meant to go over the other socks in them boots in that snow. So we're going to do another tutorial, y'all. We're going to do one on these. Lots of things to learn in this thing, right? We're going to do them toe up. We're going to have a nice little opening. Look, we ain't got that nasty, you know, conical, pointy toe. We're going to use, we're going to get us a big toe, wide toe box right there, right? We're going to do the toe, then we're going to do the foot. We're going to do an afterthought heel, y'all. We're going to do the afterthought boy. Yeah, we're going to do that too. Why not? Do a little ankle and then the ribbon. I'll take a vote. We'll see if we want to do a a, a one by one or a two by two. So we're going to use a Nature's Brown. You know, that's like a classic boot sock color. Toes and heels. And maybe the cuff. I don't know. Toes and heels for sure going to be in that white right there. That wool is knit dense, baby. This is worsted. Let's go. Oh, I've been wearing this all day, too. You know, I might put a little something in there to keep that stretch popping right there. You know, I'm a big fan of that elastic on them, on them ankles. It's not a pattern. It's just for you. Build it how you want to do it. Learn the skills. Make yours. All right, people, it's toe time. Let's go. The yarn is worsted weight. These are US 4s. If you don't know how to do Magic Loop, you're going to learn today. Judy's Magic Cast On. If you haven't heard of it before, go ahead and look it up. There's too much stuff out there. I like to do the whoops and the whops. So whoops on the top, whops on the bottom. I already got a whoop. It's time to get a whop. So we whop, whoop, whop, whoop, whop. We'll come back when we got 20 stitches on each needle, 40 stitches total. All right, I got my 20. I just twisted it a little bit more just to get that last stitch secured. Turn everything around. Grab him out. Whoop. And now you see these top stitches up here? We're going to knit all those through the back loop. I'll holler at you when I get back to it. Through the back loop, top row. All right, I got my uh, 20 done over there. So I'm going to turn everything around, secure my stuff. Let's get that other uh, needle engaged. Push him out. Whoop. Pull him on out. You can knit these 20 regular no big deal all right i got a little charm to let me know my beginning of the round so we're gonna be we're at 40 right now we need to get to 60 so that means we are going to increase each corner so that's four stitches we're going to do that five times so that means 10 rounds every other round you're increasing you finish your increases you should have 60 stitches knit regular no more increases until you get to two inches done all right, let's get it. Let's make this heel no more than an afterthought. You see what I did there? All right, let's talk through this a little bit. So I'm going to put scrap yarn on the back of my foot here. And I'm going to put two rows. How do we put two rows into something? I'm going to do a row. And then I'm going to turn the work. And then I'm going to purl back. So I end back up where I'm at. Right over here. And I'm going to keep on going. So let's go ahead. I got my yarn. It looks like the same color as this. Why not? I got plenty of it. So we're going to use this. Literally just start knitting with it like you just adding a second color. Because you kind of are. So I'll see you when we get back on the other side. Like red hot chili peppers. All right. So I'm going to knit across here. So you got one or two choices here. You can keep your working scrap yarn here and keep it. Uh, continuous the whole way or you can cut a piece and then start a whole nother side when we purl back I'm going to cut so y'all can see the difference there see you back on the purl not only did I purl back I wanted to purl back in a different color so you can really see what I'm talking about once you do that pick up your regular yarn and just knit and live your life and keep on knitting all the way up I'm going two inches from here and I'm going to start my cuff in closing. <laughs> All right, it's time to close this joint up. So we're going to go just like we did on the increase up here where we did an increase, regular, increase, regular, increase. We're going to do the same thing. So 10 rows, right? So we're going to decrease, regular, decrease, regular, decrease, regular, right? So <clears throat> the first one's going to be a decrease. So we're going to do the decrease after the first stitch. So we're going to go knit one SSK way over here to the last three, knit two together, Knit one. 
So I'll put the description up there, what I'm going to be doing. So we're going to be SSK in here, knit two together here. Flip it over. SSK there, knit two together there. And we're going to do that every other round. All right? Bang. Got my 20 stitches decrease. Now it's time to do the Kitchener stitch. Go in as if to knit. Take it off. Pearl, keep it on. Pearl, take it off. And then go through that one as if to knit. And just like that, there you go. Weave in your hands and you're done. Don't tell me you can't do it.